Hello everyone, my name is Father Martin De Quanco, and I'm here today to speak about the sacrament of baptism as part of our series on the sacraments here presented by St. Barnabas Parish. On June 1979, Pope St. John Paul II visited his hometown parish for the first time on a papal pilgrimage. And when he entered the church, the first thing he did was to go straight to the baptismal font. And there he knelt before it and kissed it. Pope St. John Paul knew that the greatest day of his life was not the day he was ordained a priest, nor was it the day he was elected Pope. Rather, rather the greatest day of his life was the day of his baptism. And why? Why is baptism so great, so important in the life of the Christian? Because it is the gift that makes way for all the gifts of God. In baptism, we truly become a new creation. We become a new creature. And you might be asking, how can this be? Don't I always stay as a human being? And this is true. But when we receive the grace of baptism, our being human now flows from a different being. Our being actually becomes grafted onto the divine being, Jesus Christ himself. And this transforms us interiorly so that we may act exteriorly in the name of Jesus with Jesus and in Jesus. To be baptized means to be immersed in a life that destroys sin and death. It means that sin does not have the final say. It means death does not have the final word. It means that at all times, at all places, the person of Christ always remains victorious. And thus we can hope always for something better and something beautiful in our lives. That Christ continuously, through all the zigzags, through all our failures, through our weaknesses, Christ draws good. And Christ draws us to himself through all our life's experiences. But we are called to cooperate with this great grace of baptism. This gift demands something from us. We are called to think, to know, to act in the person of Jesus, no longer to live for myself, but rather to live for the one who has given himself all to me, whose love has been poured into my heart. So my dear friends, this gift of baptism is truly the greatest gift we can receive as Christians. Let us always ask God for the grace to persevere in our new life with him. Amen. God bless you all. And if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to this uh, video and to our channel.